Welcome to Silicon Valley Nonprofits, a service of KMVT Community Media. I'm Bev Lenahan, your host. Today, our guest is Chelsea Chambers, Operations Manager of Peninsula Symphony. Thanks for being here, Chelsea. Nice to have you. Thanks for having me. Uh, really um, a pleasure to meet you. Me too. So there are so many symphonies in uh, the Bay Area. How, how does Peninsula Symphony distinguish itself? Peninsula Symphony is um, the longest running community orchestra in the Bay Area, actually. Mm. So this is our 69th season. Next year's our 70th. So we've been around since 1949. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So it's been a really long time. Um, and I think also we just serve a really broad population geographically um, and, you know, diverse population as well. But anyone from San Jose, even as far south as Gilroy and Morgan Hill, all the way up to San Bruno. And we see folks oh, from wow. Oakland and Fremont as well. So it's a really broad geographical area where they come from. In age as well? Is In it? age, yeah. You know, we've been told that by the venues where we rent that we get millennials. You know, we definitely have baby boomer generation and we, we get the young families, which is so rewarding for us too. Um, and I think also people really like us just because we do offer diverse programming. We're in, even though we're a community orchestra, we're in a large concert hall. So it's that professional feeling. The acoustic environment is amazing. And uh, not a lot of community orchestras get the chance to really have big international soloists. So that is one thing that we um, usually have on stage with us. So it's a really great opportunity, I think, for the patrons that we serve. Where and where do you, where are your performances? So since we're Peninsula Symphony, we have performances in the North Bay and the South. Um, so we have a series in the North in, um, Redwood City, we're also in San Mateo and San Bruno. Mm -hmm. um, and then in the south, we offer performances in Cupertino at the Flint Center and oh, okay. uh, Heritage Theater in Campbell's, our new area. Very nice. Well, that's yeah. a broad reach. That's terrific. Yeah. yeah. So tell us about your Bridges for Music program. Right. So our mission is not only to promote classical music um, on a big scale, not just in the concert hall, but also in the classroom. So education oh, wow. is a big deal to us. Um, we've been doing classroom visits to elementary schools for years and years. And, um, you know, with budget cuts in the state of California, we like to bring professional ensembles to elementary schools primarily that are designated as Title I, who are the most deserving, um, but from the lower socioeconomic uh, level, mm -hmm. just so that they're exposed to music, yes. you know, and they get to hear a flute and a percussion instrument and French horn together. Um, just because they may not be sports minded or academic, but music really speaks to them and, and we try to do that in the classroom as much as we can. I think that's so important for um, young people to just get an opportunity to hear what do these instruments even sound like mm -hmm. by themselves and then together what, what a difference it can make. It, it yeah. can spark a real interest at a young age. Exactly. Yeah. And we also have, you know, senior homes and libraries and youth competitions as part of our Bridges to Music. And then for the community, we do have the full orchestra. We do two performances a year. Our fun summer concert uh, in June is a free concert to the community. And then our nice. family concert, we offer an instrument petting zoo where the kids come oh. on stage. Oh, and so cool. besides seeing the full symphony, they get to go up close and personal with our musicians, see the percussion and the timpani and the harp and the flute. And it's just a lot of fun. Oh, very nice. And you call it petting zoo? That's an instrument petting zoo. Yeah. Oh, that's very <laughs> clever. I right. love it. I love it. I love it. Well, I, I know you are a dot org. So how can right. people help you? PeninsulaSymphony.org. You, know, you can find ways to donate, ways to volunteer, how to reach out, how to attend our performances at that website. Wonderful. Well, um, we know that people will want to reach out and at least come to the concerts, if not help you in the process. So all yeah. good fortune to you, Chelsea, Thank and you so to much. Uh, Peninsula Symphony. Thank Thanks you. for being here. Thanks for having me.